Hey, I'm back again. This is Agape Cheryl's servant. I'm here with you. Uh, Chronicles of Single Living. Chronicles of Single Living. Okay, I had a question. I got a question. Got a question. We're talking about dating, single life. We're talking about a lot of stuff. So, okay, I was thinking. I'm thinking. You know, a lot of times, um, my son and I have discussions. I have three sons. So I know girls, so I talked to my sons. Okay, so our women, you know, women always say a good man is hard to find. Hmm, a good man, good man is hard to find. Hmm, that's strange. A good man is hard to find? Okay, I say that. A good man is hard to find. What I used to say, rather. So I used to say a good man is hard to find. Okay, now, remember now, y'all, this is Chronicles of single living and I'm talking to Christian folk and secular folk okay folk just folk single people listen up okay so question is a good man hard to find okay I'm posing that to you women out there because I want to know your answer see my answer and what I think is it's not that a good man is hard to find but a good looking man is hard to find see there are plenty average Joes who got, you know, they they the uh, they the uh, what is what they call it the trash technician, or um, they the tractor trailer technician, uh, or they you know they are the janitorial technician, you know those kind of men. Then there's some kind of heavy men, and then there's some real skinny men, then there's some real short men, then there's some real tall men, there's some real dark men, there's some real light men, and then, you know, there's just men. Okay, so my question is, is a good man really hard to find? Sometimes I think, ladies, we overlook some of those good men who will treat you right because they, okay, y'all excuse my terminology, I told y'all I'm going to be raw, I'm going to be real. Okay, so I'm going to use this word. But all God's children are beautiful. But you know how we do it, ladies. Oh, he ugly. Oh, he too short. Oh, he too fat. Oh, he too skinny. Hmm. He too dark. Or he too black, especially us black women. Hmm. Or he too light. Hmm. Okay, so we're continuing to ask ourselves, is a good man hard to find? Well, he's hard to find when you looking for... Uh, something that God didn't say you should look for. Okay, so I don't even know how to put that, but a good man is not hard to find if you go by what the Bible say a good man is. See, if a good man is what you're looking for, then stop passing up all the good men. Okay, I, I'm going to take that advice myself because I kind of I kind of do that. I, I used to be real shallow. Not shallow anymore. I'm older now. Wiser now. So I'm not shallow anymore. But okay, so women, uh, stop looking at the type of job they have. Stop looking at if they're short or tall or dark or light. Um, begin to look at the person, the character of the person. See, you can find a good-looking man and he treats you like crap. Or you can find a not-so-good-looking man and he'll treat you like a queen. You just got to make that decision. My suggestion is, um, if you don't want to be single all your life, you might need to look a little closer at the men you pass by. I say that because I got three sons, and they're handsome. They're, they're very handsome. But sometimes they ask me, like, Mom, why do some of these women just pass us by? Hmm. They got good jobs. Own a home. Um. And they've learned from their mother how to treat a woman. So they open up doors and do all that good stuff that I want a man to do. So I taught them how to do. Okay, so you might have a few little flaws. You know we all got flaws. Okay, so my thing is, women, if you're looking for a good man, go back and look at some of those fish you tossed back in the sea. Because some of them men were some good men. Hmm. Some of y'all, now I ain't saying lower your standards. Please don't get that. I'm not saying lower your standards. All I'm saying is, look at those men that you toss back who may not have been that attractive. 
And then, you know, okay, also I'm going to say, you know, this, you point one finger. Okay, I'm trying to show y'all. You point one finger, but there's one, two, three pointing back at you. Uh, so look at yourself also. Uh, sometimes you might think you all fly. You all that. But you may not be. So I had to begin to look at myself and say, am I, am I whole? Am I healthy? You know, some of y'all women needy. Y'all needy. Okay, so you got to fix that. Some of y'all women need to be balanced, spiritually balanced. But you need to listen. Listen more than you talk. Close this. Mm. Open those. Hmm. Sometimes you might need to close these. Close this. And just listen. I wonder what a blind person thinks when they start dating somebody. They can't tell if they're ugly or cute or fine or handsome or whatever. Hmm. Well, that's a question too. So, there's a blind man. I know I saw the Ray Charles movie and he kind of judged by her wrist. Hmm. Well, you know, I don't know if that worked. But hey, he judged by the wrist. Don't know what Stevie Wonder did. He blind. What did he do? Hmm. Okay, women. Sometimes you got to be blind to what you see and listen to what they say. Okay. I just want to throw that out there because that, that, that was puzzling me. Why we keep saying a good man is hard to find? Good man not hard to find. Just sometimes we, I think we're looking at is a good looking man hard to find. Especially if you get to a certain age. All the good looking men are taken. <laughs> yeah. Or what you think is good looking. See, most of us women want six two, well, six foot and above. We want them tall, dark, and handsome. Got a good job. Got a nice car. Got a house. All that. But then we might pass by that one that might be, you know, 5'10", you know, the average height for a man. Um, he may be working on getting a home and... He got a car. He just may not have a Lexus or Mercedes or a BMW or Rolls Royce or Bentley or something like that. He might just have a Chevrolet or a Ford or a Nissan or a Toyota. Lexus might do. But anyway, we got to stop passing up these men because they may have good hearts. And all they need is a good woman to stand beside them and help them and to encourage them. See, that's sometimes the good men. Sometimes we're looking at, he looked like a nerd. Those nerds are the best ones to have sometimes because they, hmm, uh, got great minds. So let's stop passing up some of these men that we say uh, don't quite fit our criteria. Now, y'all might disagree. Okay, disagree, disagree, disagree. That's what this show is about. That's what this program is about. That's what Chronicles of single living is about. I want you to disagree. I want you to question because then that's a subject that uh, we can discuss. Because I know some people are asking that question. Why do women say a good man is hard to find? Good man ain't hard to find. Just hard to find if we're looking at them and we expecting something. You know? Hmm. Don't know if men say that. Do men say that? A good woman is hard to find. Plenty of us good women out there. I'm a good woman. <gasps> I'm a good woman. Mm. And I'm not so bad on the eye. Of course, I could, you know. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, but anyway. Good women are not hard to find and good men are not hard to find. It's just what we're looking for. But we got to break that mind gap that this man is supposed to be this tall and he's supposed to be muscular or you know average body whatever and then you gotta stop looking at if that woman got an hourglass figure maybe she not an hourglass she might be pretty in the face you know how they used to say oh she thick she got a pretty face or she big boned it but she got a pretty face. 
he might need to take a look at that big boned woman with a pretty face. Now, I ain't saying that she got, you know, help her along. Help her along. Okay, I might be, ooh, I might be making some folks mad at me. But that's what this is about. That's why I call it Chronicles of Single Living. Because as single people, so much stuff be going on in our heads that we don't even talk about. So let's talk about it. Y'all ready to talk about it? Y'all ready to talk about it? Let's talk about it. Hmm. I have so many things going on in my head sometimes. I think, whoa. Hmm. They just come out. So this is one of those things that's just coming out. Because I thought, let me just get on YouTube and just talk about things. Things that make you go, hmm. Or things that you always want to ask that you just don't really ask. Or things you just talk about or share with your guy friends or your girlfriends or you know, your groups or whatever. Time for singles to start talking in this society today. And women, we got to really talk about some things. Y'all, we really need to talk about some things because mm, I think we missing the boat on some things. But anyway, if you want to talk about it, just leave me a comment. Let's talk about it. Or you can go to my Facebook at Chronicles of Single Living Facebook page. Facebook page, Agape Cheryl Servant. Hmm. I'd rather for you go to at Chronicles of Single Living. Or just go to the page, Chronicles of Single Living. But let's discuss it. Let's discuss it. Okay, question again? You want the question again? Do you want the question again? Okay, question again. Are women looking for a good man? Or are they looking for a good looking man? Hmm. Okay, I, I think I'm going to save my other topic for later. I'm going to talk about love and lust. Hmm. So y'all stay tuned because I'm going to talk about some love and some lust. Hmm. I'm going to give y'all a little hint. We fall in lust. We don't fall in love. Most people say love at first sight. No, it's love at lust at first sight. Love at first sight is something totally different. Okay, that's why I call myself Agape Servant. Hmm. Gotta call those things that be not as though they were. Okay. Okay, I'm I told you I'm talking about things that normal preachers, pastors, and prophetesses and lay lay people, leaders or whatever don't talk about. Yeah, I, I I'm a pastor, but see, I gotta be real with y'all. Cause if I don't be real, nobody else will be real with you. We gotta stop faking it. I wanna say Okay, I won't say that. Y'all know what I was getting ready to say. But we got to stop it. Let's talk about real stuff. Let's be real in the church. We in the church. Let's be real. You know, the church is in you. So let's be real. Let's talk about this stuff. Y'all women, y'all men, don't know what to do with yourself. Women crying, I want a husband. Men crying, I don't want no wife. But what did God say? So we need to be... Uh, Dating, being single with a purpose, dating with a purpose, having relationships with a purpose and not just a sexual purpose. <laughs> Marvin Gaye, sexual healing. Y'all need to stop that and find out what the person is about. Some of y'all ended up, I'm going to talk to married women right now. Some of y'all ended up with some uh, husbands that you was all in love with because that sex was good. Now, you're wishing you hadn't did it. Now, you wish you were divorced. Some of you got a divorce. Okay, and men, sex might be good, but don't try it all. God said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Obtain a favor from the Lord. Good thing means mm, you ask God for a wife. You'll find a wife. She'll be your good thing, and she'll bring favor in your life. Okay, have I said enough? Y'all know. As you're watching me, you'll understand. But I love y'all. That's why I do what I do. Okay, my time is about up. I'm going to try to keep them to 15 minutes. Chronicles of Single Living. Okay, Christian people. Okay, secular people. World, you know, people who, you know, don't identify as Christian. Bye-bye. Love y'all. Mm-hmm.